and after what's probably been six months off the lure rod. Oh, yeah, fish on. Yeah. Tell them right amongst the kelp now. Ooh. Yep, fish on, fish on. Oh. Well, it's definitely been a while. <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. I'm about halfway down to my camping slash fishing spot for the evening. It's been a few months. Can't remember the last time I went fishing, actually. Uh, I lie. I actually went fishing last weekend. But before that, I think it was November the last time I went fishing. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to a night down on the rocks this evening. It's going to be a cold one, I think. Northeasterly wind, about 20 mile an hour, but at least the sea should be pretty flat. It was about this time last year. I had a um, half decent session down um, in one of the quarries in Dorset. Uh, I think I had about 15 fish in the end. Might be more than that. Bass, wrasse, pollock, a bit of everything. So fingers crossed. Same again this evening slash tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Dancing ledge down there. Not the destination for this evening. I am heading west to another quarry. Oh God, walking in long grass. I am definitely getting a tick. I've already had one this year, right in the belly. So anyone who has been following the channel for a while will have possibly have seen my video where I actually camped out on this ledge, just down here, the lower ledge, but due to the wind, it is from the east at the moment, it is switching to northerly, but I think I'm gonna head in the opposite direction, so there might be a bit of cover from the easterly wind. Maybe I'll move later, I haven't quite decided yet, but I have got a tarpaulin, I don't really fancy it flapping around in the wind all night, so at least around here there might be a bit of shelter. It's a bit of a scramble down, but it should be right if I take my time. Probably don't want to stand under there for too long. But yeah, what a spot. I don't think it gets much better than this, personally. Got a bit of everything. Deep water out, a bit shallow around here, reefs, sandbars, lots of um, rocks and boulders and underwater features. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty optimistic. Right. This is where I wish I'd pack light. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, my God. Voila. I'm sure... I seem to remember it was a bit flatter last time. It always takes a few casts to kind of get the rhythm. It's all about the rhythm when you lure fishing, I think. And after what's probably been six months off the lure rod, Oh, yeah, fish on. Yeah, not massive, but definitely a fish. Ah, get in there. What is it? It's got to be a bass, I think. Where is it? Is it a bass? Is it a bass? It's a bass. Oh, it's not a bad one. I'd say it's not a bad one. Oh, don't be coming off, don't be losing the nets. Ah, get in the net. Do you know what the size of it? It's probably easier to just pick it up. But, one in the net. Woo! -hoo. Get in there. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many casts that was. Didn't feel like that many. Okay, it's not as big as it looked in the water. Hey, there we go. So the, yeah, first lure caught fish of the year. Little bass, happy days. Let's get it back. Well, that's a little bit hot. Ow. I don't know where the handle's gone, annoyingly. Uh, but I need to get that off because it's a bit too hot. Uh, yeah, so fishing-wise, very quiet since that since that bass. I started to get really cold, um, so I decided to 
hide behind this rock and cut myself up some grub. I did bring some food with me. Nice. I can tell I'm right amongst the kelp now. Oh, yep, fish on, fish on. Get in there. Come on, don't come off. This feels a little bit bigger. Don't know if it's a bass or a wrasse. They always feel so much bigger until you get them a bit closer. It's not massive. Ah, oh, that's a wrasse. Bright red, I can see it on the surface. Oh, I thought it was probably a bit late to catch a wrasse, as in late at night. Uh, oh, wow, awesome colours on this. I hope I don't lose it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to need the net. Ugh. Yeah, some cool colours on that. Let's do it this way. There you go. Let's get it back. I'm done fishing now, probably just going to chill here for about an hour and then hit the sack, get up bright and early, I'm not sure what time sunrise is these days, maybe half five, five, so I'll probably get up about four and head down to the lower ledge, make myself a tea and I'll see you in the morning. Oi, 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 5am, so I had a good six and a half hours sleep I think I feel pretty refreshed although it did start raining in the night Ugh. so that, that did wake me up but I managed to get back to sleep <laughs> oh dear so slight issue this is the ledge that I was going to fish off, but as you'll probably see in about three seconds. Yeah. Okay, I am definitely not going down there. No chance. Right, that's luring out the question then. <laughs> Unless I can do it from up here, possibly. But sometimes you just gotta call it and I'm on my own at the bottom of a cliff. Uh, no one actually knows I'm here and yeah that's a bit too rough for my liking unfortunately uh, I mean it's even worse this side the waves are actually breaking up and splashing oh yeah there you go I mean don't get me wrong it looks bassy but it also looks extremely dangerous and I like to think I'm pretty hardcore but that is definitely testing my limits. So that might be it. That might be it, guys. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Hey, look, something very small, but it is a fish. Oh god. Hey! Oh, that was a lot of effort. A lot of effort. Hey, early morning bass. Happy days. Hey. All right, let's get it back. I might have a few more chucks. But yeah, I'm going to make my way back now. Three fish. Can't complain. It's still quite early in the year. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.